You know what? This isn't really half bad. Hello everyone, this is Modeling with Variety, and today we're taking a look at this. The Target exclusive Gundam Universe RX-78-3 G3 Gundam to see if this G3 has a magnetic coating for our wallets. Let's take a look. Taking a look around the box, there's this awesome art in front of the Gundam doing one of its signature poses. GU-SP meaning it's one of the special editions Gundam Universe has along with the, from what I remember, the Trans Am Exia and the Strike Rouge that are exclusive on Target store shelves. On the side, a 45 degree angle shot of the figure. The back has different artwork from the original GU-01 and for some reason boasts about the worst parts of the figure but we will get to that later. There's a blurb on the bottom left of the CG artwork about the G3. There's also the usual advertisement of some of the other units in the line, including one of the best looking Leos that you can get from store shelves. The other sides aren't that interesting. It's just more stylized nameplating. Let's open the box, shall we? You could already see the G3 from the window on the box, but now, you could really see it in full. Like with other Tamashi Nations figures, it comes in this very concise double blister packaging. From what I understand, holds the item securely. Mine just got jostled around because of the baggage handling. Anyway, no big deal. At least you could see the stuff you get right out of, right out of the gate. There's a paper for the instructions but I'm pretty sure this figure is straightforward enough. Getting it out of the packaging... What? What? It's broken? Okay, so out of the box, it was broken. But it's an easy fix. The female end of the ball jointed neck got destroyed which is unfortunate. Means I can't really use the head properly without using some sticky tack. Everything else though is fine. Let's first take a gander at the look of the figure itself. It isn't as janky as one might have assumed from the budget figure line, but it has, taste, it has tasteful panel lines everywhere, quite resembling the Master Grade 1.0 RX-78. Has the proportions that fit the RX-78's original aesthetic, which is chunky and thick. In a lot of places, in a, in a lot of places especially those calves. The head looks good, menacing, unlike the Revive and the 2.0 Master Grade. The whole upper body is bulked up, though interestingly, having thin forearms which is lore-wise exclusive, exclusive to the prototype Gundam because of its prototype beam rifle. The legs are of equal thickness which gives the chunky and full aesthetic of the RX-78, which is a nice change of pace since the recent iterations of the Gundam had it going more of an anemic design. So having this fuller feeling Gundam is a refreshing return to form. The more unfortunate side to this figure other than the broken neck are the major joint articulations that actually matter on a figure like, like this, which are the elbows and knees. Both just move more, more or less at 90 degrees which greatly hinders the otherwise more dynamic nature of this figure. What do I mean by that? Well, the upper part of the neck can make the head spin 360 degrees. I can't talk about the bottom since it's broken. The shoulders are great since they have this kind of jointing that is like what you'd see in an HGAC Leo from what I understand which moves the shoulder armor upward and you could have the shoulder move the arm upward even more. The upper arm is what you'd expect which rotates 360 degrees and has an extremely unfortunate previously mentioned 90 degree bend on the elbow. But what isn't expected is an ab crunch this good. Look at how good that is. The bottom of it can't rotate. 
which really sucks in my opinion. The skirt can move out of the way slightly so oh, the leg can move up that far, side that far, backwards unfortunately nothing because of the back skirt. The knee is really limited to about 90 degrees. The feet are good with the ankle armor moving along with the double jointed feet which helps with the stability of the Gundam when doing ground poses. There's, that's where the problem really shines though. Having a weird mix of joints and having each their own set of limitations doesn't help one, that doesn't help one another to overcome their own weaknesses. The perfect example of this are the brethren of this unit, the master grade and the high grade versions of the Gundam. They accommodate each other's problems and the result of this are more natural looking poses. This even holds true to the original HGUC, which this is kind of its equal when considering articulation. Its accessories are just a few. Beam rifle, shield, beam sabers, saber parts, closed fists, and a stand adapter. All of them hold well as you'd expect but there are still some problems. The shield gimmick that attaches to the back doesn't hold well and considering all that I've said with the articulation, this can't even do its pose on the box art. That sucks! I mean, doing the thing in front of the box must be the standard, right? But yeah, it can't even do that. Also, this has been advertised as such so it's, from the start it really was just unfortunate. On to the final thoughts. With all the lampooning that I have been doing on this figure, I still love this figure. It has a silhouette that is unmistakably the RX-78 with details I appreciate and an overall good looking figure. Standing that is. But for any other pose, this really lacks anything that would interest anyone but me. Since I much prefer nowadays my mecha to be mostly just having the standing pose as their standard pose. The reason for that mostly applies to model kits since the standing A pose showcases the modeler's prowess the most. Anyway, besides that, this having the playability it has just doesn't want me to recommend it to uh, anyone, really. Since this is a figure slash toy, Playability is one of its top priorities, and this having mid-tier articulation at best at $27 plus tax? It already has tax at that point. Just get a model kit, man. Get the get get the entry, entry grade. Or the much better the revive or the maybe even the origin one the version. Paint it G3 colors and you'll have a grander time than this. So yeah, that's about it. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below if you're so inclined, and yeah, thanks for watching.